This video is a long-form chat with my direct commander in 35 Brigade. He's also a personal friend of mine and his name is Sasha. We talk about his experiences growing up, coming into medicine. We talk about our various war experiences as well. And we also talk about our outlook on the war and the future. If you're a new follower who recently watched the panel on Times Radio with Maxine Tucker, I want to welcome you and I thank you. But most importantly, I want to thank the people who've supported me non-stop since I started on Instagram and YouTube. I've recently had some challenges to deal with. Um, I don't like to talk about my successes before they've been achieved, but I'm making really good progress now. And I'm also doing very well. Um, I'm already on to some pretty heavy stuff. I hope you'll enjoy this video. And if you're new, welcome. At the beginning, you'll see Harley delivering two sets of PS B-14 night vision to Yaroslava in Third Assault. That's what my channel's about. It's about supporting people. And also, there's a quick update from Sabir. We've had a massive delay in delivering Nika's truck. Uh, it required repairs in Kiev. That has been done. Thank you for your support. And now we're just waiting for Nika to get off position. But I will have that video whenever that's possible. Thank you and enjoy my chat with Bellaby. So this is Harley here and he brought me some night vision. Uh, I'm a combat medic in third assault and these things, they are lifesavers uh, for the drivers uh, who drive the machinery and who evacuate people and these things, they're just lifesavers and we have them now and we are gonna use them. So I think Harley and I think everyone who put some effort to get them to Ukraine. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you to everybody who donates to me and Brandon. Um, these MVGs, lifesavers are very important for the uh, for the medivacs, for the, for the medics on the front line when driving at night. Um, keep supporting the volunteers. Support Uda. Slava Ukraine. Thank you. Hello friends. Hello Brandon followers. He pleased me to do some severe content for you. Thanks for coming. Oh. <laughs> oh, I come to get you. Yeah. Before we work tonight. Ow, you're from Odessa, right? Yeah, I'm from Odessa. You grew up there your whole life? Yes. And uh, what made you, why, why did you become a doctor? Mm, my father, a uh, doctor, and uh, I uh, uh, dream um, all time, all my life, about uh, a safer life, more people. And maybe because I go alone in uh, begin at medical school, mm -hmm. then medical university. And uh, I like this. I like this job. And did you know you wanted to study anesthesiology from the beginning? Uh, what did your father do? Uh, my father is uh, a medicine doctor. Okay. Uh, then I then I begin uh, study. I uh, work uh, with my father. I go for in. Uh, uh, hospital is him and to work uh, like a nurse in hospital uh, and uh, it's about it's a reanimation uh, I work in, the, in a reanimation uh, and to go with this anesthesiologist on operation uh, and uh, I like uh, what what all anesthesiologists uh, anesthesiologist job and uh, I uh, think well why no Mm. In in beginning, I think maybe I want uh, uh, surgery, but surgery is so not interesting for me. No. Yeah. You like propofol. Yeah, I like propofol <laughs> and tiapinto. Um. See, I I met you. Uh, it was originally with Rebecca. Um, I came. I met you. I met Jeff. Um, outside of Avdivka. And mm -hmm. uh, one generator, later an eco flow, but I don't really get to know you guys until till Kherson, till mm -hmm. here now. And 
I'm, I must say, um, I really like the way you guys work in the brigade, like all your team, like not, it's not perfect. Nothing is perfect. Yeah. Um, but there's good energy and there's good, uh, good protocol and good flow. Yeah. Because, uh, we, uh, I think, uh, we must, uh, uh, do anything uh for uh, also soldiers because it's uh only one uh what he uh, must uh, uh, give in for for him because it's uh, he uh, life because it's a health mm. and we are we are all doctor we must uh, save a life and i uh, i trust uh, uh organization evacua uh, evacuation and uh, all medical help uh, for uh, soldier for civil civilian people mm -hmm. in the uk uh, maybe in other western countries we call it the the covenant like that if a soldier would go uh and sacrifice his life or his health for his country that if anything would happen to him at all that we as uh, well the state would do everything possible that yes, they have yes. to 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 take care of either his family if he dies or that he gets the best care that we can give him that we are capable yeah. of giving him from from blandage uh, the yeah. trench to puntriste to yeah i i don't know i believe in this uh, how how it's working uh, anything brigade but in my brigade we we do what we what what it's possible we 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 give uh, uh, all care what we can give him and the best uh, we have yes and uh, at blindage uh, at uh, stop point at the hospital we give all, uh, all 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 care what what he what he what our we can where did your um so you've been in the army now five years. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, five years. So how 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 old are you? Uh, I don't 27. even. Twenty-seven. You're only twenty. <laughs> I'm ten years older than you. Oh my <laughs> god! And I work for you. I don't care. You're great. You're fantastic. But uh, you were also finishing your studies in the army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year you finished in army. So how how did it how did it work? Um, could you tell me like when you joined? You've always been in thirty-five brigade. Uh, all time, yes. I start. Uh, I start uh, uh, working brigade uh, from I a soldier. Like mm -hmm. I go, I come in brigade. I'm a soldier and uh, soldier or medic. Soldier medic. medic, yeah, a combat medic uh, yes. in uh, in the squad. And uh, I uh, work in. Uh, uh, Rosvitka intelligence, yes, intelligence uh, rota. Uh, then, uh, then I go in uh, medical uh, squad. Uh, I uh, work for like a nurse. Mm -hmm. um, then uh, I uh, uh, finish study. I work uh, like a commander for evacuation. Yes, because I have more. Um, experience. I, more, I feel more experience. I know. Uh, I have more. Um, I know how it's work. From e evacuation yeah, all, all the yeah, way to the yes, hospital. Yes. Yes. And Not everyone think, understands this. A, 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 a little people know this some good hospitality had the opportunity to work here 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 no hospital so. it's not not all hospital but norm, no, no but normal soul normal medics yeah you yeah. work yes this yes. is your role if hospitalier if i see and i uh, told this hospitalier speaks with him i understand uh, it's a cool it's a cool guy it's a cool medic mm. and uh, i work this uh, this here well it's, it's just it's it's your understanding, like, um, for example, 
I'm working with medical organizations because I'm a foreigner. You, you, you were also in contact with uh, medical help uh, from the volunteers. And when they talk to different people, they get different opinions from different points of care. Uh, <coughs> like if you're, if you're a combat medic and you only know about to Pont Triste, mm -hmm. but what happens after Pont Triste? You don't know. You don't really know. You, yeah. you know, but you my don't, you never did it. You, you've done all of it. From yes. Stabpunt to you work yes. in hospital yeah, in Odessa? Uh, uh, see, uh, combat medic uh, uh, don't must know what happened uh, then uh, Pont Trista or hospital because uh, combat medic it's a not uh, not study for medic in medical school. Mm -hmm. He study only in the army then uh, how uh, she go, uh, he or she go um, in uh, a uh, learning center mm -hmm. uh, only one month alone in uh, how uh, he must give a care in the uh, uh, combat uh, play uh, area mm -hmm. he want uh, he he must know only how work uh, uh, tourniquet how work uh, bandage how work uh, uh, NVP the compression needle only this uh, all uh, uh, anything uh, how if if I work in uh, stop punct I must know more more and more uh, information if I work in hospital I must know more and more from a lot lot of, a lot of, a lot of information it's a, a system uh, if system work we, we we must don't crush this I I just think this is important um, because I'm going to work more with a Swedish organization in ordering supplies and uh, I want quick clock. But, yeah, the, but the, gir so. the girl who is amazing, she's an amazing girl, but she says, oh, well, the combat medics are lacking Silox. But Silox oh. is a problem later yes, on in care yes. of medicine. Yes, no. Uh, Quick lot uh, more better, like uh, uh, Celex. Uh, Kravos, uh, Ukrainian Kravos Pass more better, like Celex. Celex uh, have uh, uh, high concentration, very no. thick. Um, yeah, Maybe we can uh, say like this because then we use it, uh, Celex, uh, then. Uh, uh, soldier come uh, in hospital uh, i surgery must uh, uh, work around the tissue yes yes more because uh, uh, if we use it cross pass we can uh, be, without problem uh, get out, uh, get out. yes uh, this cellux it's a problem a big problem we must only the scalpel it saves a life but it's problem later yes if if we have uh, anything uh, equipment like quick load or cross pass we use it quick load use that or first. cross pass mm. that's that's just one example um but i don't have your knowledge and i'm also going to in the future i will always be calling you asking you about these things more than because i had to learn in the war so many people you you came into the uh, you were in the army in the old war and and so many people that you have that work for you, uh, they did not do this before, or they or some of them did civilian medicine. Like Eugene works in ambulatory. Um, it's just it's very valuable. It's we you, you were the glue, you yeah. were part of you were part of the glue that holds the brigade medical together. Mm. I remember then I study. Uh, one of my teacher says. Uh, all uh, medicine, uh, if you force use it, you use it in the war, in the army. Then, if this work in the army, th uh, this uh, protocol uh, come in civilian medicine. It's work because in uh, Ukraine, uh, in ambulance, we use it uh, military protocol for uh, medical care. 
for civilian care now. It's yeah. going, everything yes. start. Yes, everything starting in a war, in army, then this go in civilian medicine. New way, we learn new ways to kill each other and we learn new ways to save each other. Yes, yes. <laughs> and it just goes on and on and on for the solutions. Um, so, I've never been to Odessa. Uh, oh, this is fantastic. Uh, I want. I dream of going to your city because the guys from Twenty Eight Brigade, all from Odessa. Most of you guys are from Odessa. Yeah. Um, you studied in Odessa. Yeah. Too? yeah. Everything is possible. But this is so big city. You don't even need to leave Odessa to find a wife in Kherson. This is not possible. You have yes. to go to Mikhailov to find yeah. a wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Odessa was so big, big, big city. So big city. And when you grew up in Odessa, um, <coughs> I understand it was mainly a Russian speaking city. Mm, yeah, I think it's true. But now, then war started, um, uh, a lot of people uh, started speaking Ukrainian. A lot, a lot. I never ask anybody this, but. Um, I remember where I was um, when uh, Russia invaded Crimea in 2014 and uh, I was with my father but where you're from Odessa it's not far from Crimea um, did you did you think that this was going to happen it was some people say they like if you talk to Yana Zinkovich she will say she's been saying this was the big war was always going to happen. She said this five years ago, six years ago. Yeah. Did you feel this? Yeah. We, it was always going to happen? We all know. All. all if you uh, li listen uh, news, if you if you think about uh, anything, uh, don't uh, watch Pornhub and uh, play the game, you know and understand war, it's... Uh, war started and uh, we can't uh, we must uh, prepare for this but uh, many people think uh, we have it's a problem we have more people who waited he he uh, these people don't understand uh, uh, he not principal ukrainian or russian we have more people, but uh, it's cool because th these people go out from in, in, for, from Ukraine, go in Poland, go in uh, USA, Canada. Uh, th uh, a lot of people go uh, for how they have uh, this mind. Uh, this they don't want that. They did yeah. not want this. Yeah, we all wait uh, and uh, prepare, but not good prepare. I think, but we prepare for war, uh, a, a big war. We we all know this. Because if uh, we can't uh, stop uh, Russian in uh, Donbass and Crim, Crimea, we we all know about this. A great war must begin. Not today, not tomorrow, yes. but someday it yes. would come. Yes, we all know this. Nobody knew when, but it would come. Uh, the uh, last. Uh, oh no! I don't, don't t t tell this. It's not uh, not for public. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I am after the war, like like yeah, Bodonov like says, after, after the, the war, war. <laughs> I can talk about this. <laughs> Since I met you, uh, it was in Avdivka direction. Since full-scale war, um, where have you operated? Um, before Avdivka, where were you? The beginning of the war, when everyone mobilized. Uh, where did you guys fight? Where did where did you work as a medic? Oh, we work. Uh... Uh, a lot uh, place we work uh, then war start we work uh, at uh, Mikolaev because you were in Odessa when the war uh, yes, started yes so you... yeah yeah and uh, then uh, Russian come for Nikolaev we go for we go from Mikolaev and uh, fight uh, in Mikolaev and uh, 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 Spasad Pakrovsky, Bashtanka, we work on this uh, place. Then we work in uh, like uh, river and Hulets. We push it, pu push it this river from the other side. Yeah, 
Yes, this is about what we, we say. It's all public information. It's not uh, like a secret, and we can say to, to, to speakers about this. And then uh, we deoccupied uh, uh, right uh, bank. We go off to Avdiivka. We all know this too. Mm -hmm. We work in Avdiivka. Mm, and uh, maybe six months, six or eight months. Mm -hmm. Then we come uh, to like, uh, Velika Novosilka, Staromajorska. You know, all, all know this and work in Velika Novosilka uh, and Turajaina. Then uh, we stop work. We come, we come uh, to Kherson. Back to Kherson. <laughs> yeah, back to Kherson. Because we are Marines. <laughs> this is... Uh, I mean, I am not a doctor, but I am part of the team. Uh, we are all part of this team. Uh, I participated in assaults with Persia Tankova. Um, also in Bakhmut. Uh, there were so many brigades, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um but here is different. Uh, it's this river. It's this fucking river. Yeah. Um, in some ways, I'm not a commander because your day does not. Your day never stops. You know, like uh, uh, I joke. Oh, he's doing commander stuff. You know, but your your telephone, like just for us doing this, uh, we're at twenty minutes. Maybe we'll get a phone call in ten minutes, and who knows? But it's i find it i find Kherson for me it's easier but it's harder uh cuz there's been some you have been very busy here very busy yeah but you can you can only work at night like in donbass we could get guys day night it could yeah. happen anytime but the, we can only help those guys at night here only only at night we work about all brigade not not, not only evacuation not only medicine and uh, but I can't uh, talk about uh, this now. And but I think uh, we have a good chance about more interesting uh, uh, I know I know some of the I'm not the commander, but I know some of this too. And uh, if I can be honest, it it gives me reason to smile, a little little reason to smile. Uh, yeah. Like. Again, my new favorite character, Bodonov. Yeah, yeah, after the war. <laughs> yeah, after the war. We, we all so so tired. We all so busy. We don't sleep uh, every night. Uh, if we can sleep uh, three four hour uh, at the day, it's cool. But uh, we have days where we don't sleep. I uh, like a commander. I uh, sleep maybe one two hour in the day. Because I have a lot much of much of work, a lot. Because uh, I must uh, organization all uh, all car, all medic, uh, all, all food, all, all yeah, yeah, yeah. I have more. I must uh, give uh, to car uh, a diesel. I must give a gas. I must give a generator. I must speak uh, for anything, uh, commander. And if there's uh, trouble with your men, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah because, and I try it so, 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 so lot. What is it like? Um, what's it like being a commander? Because uh, I know all your boys, and they're all very different. Yeah. And your family. Uh, most of the guys here have they been with you most of the war? Mm. Half the war. They. Well, it's uh, all uh, people. If uh, your we are a little family, no, no, big family, big mm -hmm. family, and we, mu I must. Uh, we even have dogs and cats. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I must uh, told uh, this uh, everyone. Uh, I must. Uh, uh, speak this uh, all uh, doctor nurse uh, combat medic uh, and uh, drivers drivers 
and uh, if we are friendly if we speak uh, uh, our speak uh, in uh, uh, in in my family um, we have uh, a good result in the work because mm. all know what he must do in mm -hmm. Uh, all know uh, what he uh, there he don't must come he won't do, doesn't work uh, if i write everything you must do in this 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 you must do in this 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 and uh, only if i uh, organization work uh, like this it's not a problem anything not a problem you can work uh, and uh, you must uh, if uh, uh, guy work good i must uh, give him any present and uh, him he he can go at home maybe one day yeah. he can rest he can uh, he can go home to odessa yeah, spend speaks. half the trip driving but he yeah. can see his family yes yes he can see family he can see daughter or son he can see wife mother dad no it's 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 uh, important if you uh, work uh, every day every week every month and uh, don't see family you your psychical your psychology uh, you have uh, <clears throat> you have a problem mm -hmm. you have uh, depression you can't work and uh, you can't uh, do in uh, any cases if you have a depression to uh, psychological problem yeah and uh, my uh, my job one if uh, uh, of a job it's uh, speak this uh, <coughs> this people and i must uh, uh, get out if uh, at home speak this heavily because I know many commanders who don't don't do this, and uh, people uh, guys begin uh, drunk, uh, guys begin begin uh, use it uh, narcotic. Uh. It becomes bad. Yeah, one of the boys, I think he's a battalion medic. He's not uh, with. He's not brigade medic. Uh, his mother died. He's only like mm -hmm. 20 years old. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. And he was able to go home to be with his mother when she died. And uh, to me, that's... Uh, that's important. It's very important. In a way, I've lost myself here. Uh, and I know other foreigners. You know them as well. Um... They've completely lost their soul here. I, I don't mean an, it's a bad thing. We're do, it's it's a good thing. Yes. It, it's if we have to trade our sanity for if we can save ten people, this is worth it. Yes. But uh, little by little here, if we're not careful, uh, we lose connection with our cousins, with our brothers, with our mothers. Uh, I'm finding it very hard to communicate with the outside world. Yes, it's true. Because they are foreigners, uh, and as many as many of them care about Ukraine, they don't understand. Not really. Uh, even in Ukraine, uh, it must be like this. Maybe even in Odessa, they get hit with missiles, but they don't really. And I think uh, I can get angry, but it's also important when I go to Kiev uh, and I have a meal with a friend that I realize that I try to understand them too, like family and friends, it's... It... It's good. I don't know, I'm not the boss, but whoever whoever let that boy that we both know, let him go home to his family, that was the right thing. Yes. yes. That was the right thing. Even if we needed him, we, we always survive. We always, yes. we always do everything, yes. even if it's hard. So, um, what do you, um, I'm, you know, I'm going to meet your, um, I'm going to meet your family, uh, soon. Um, 
what how do we how do we win this how do we how do we make it faster to make this shit stop faster we must we we need more people it's first because people it's uh, uh first we 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 we, we, we need more people we need more drones, all, all uh, technic, FPV, uh, Rosvitka drone, Mavic, uh, Mavic uh, yes, but all drones, more and more and more and more. Uh, we want, no, it's not, uh, not uh, two problem, people and drones, now. If we have more and more this, and to, and and uh, we must motivation people, because uh, uh, I know a lot good guy, uh, or, or uh, good, good great people, but uh, because we have a bad commander, he go out, he he can't uh, and uh, he wanted uh, work. This is all of Ukraine. Yes. Mm, if if we have a good commander, it's working so good. I know for my brigade, uh, my commander is not bad. I know because uh, we have not uh, a lot, not not a lot uh, Trista. We have not a lot Dvisti. We have good organization of many question. Uh, not uh, not all perfect. But uh, I know many brigade uh, they are so g g greatly bad, uh, like uh, my brigade. My brigade is cool, really. I think it's maybe greatly uh, uh, anything brigade who work in uh, this place. The, I'm I'm not a general, but. I'm just far enough back on this side of the river. I see, I see what happens, and uh, I've got this internet shit. Um, it's very hard now to maintain both worlds, like psychologically. But it's like um, I really feel, and this is Ukrainians too. Fucking Ukrainians! It's like uh, we need a big win down here yeah. because uh, their attention is like, uh, like they, we need, I'm not saying we need Kharkiv, like all this, but we need a big win down here. So, so that people in Ukraine can believe, yeah, we fucked the Peter, you know, we, if we do it again, we can do it again. And, and we need this for foreign people because it's like uh, it shows that we can beat them. And I know we can beat them. Uh, but it's like politician. Like Putin is not a stupid man. He right. knows, he understands Western people that we we are like TikTok generation. Like, oh, next thing, Israel. I, I'm very, I don't talk about that. That's, it's horrible what's happening there. But it's it's like we need a big victory. So then American voters look, oh, Ukraine again. Uh, yes, it, uh, yeah, I know. And, and commanders and have to uh, make a choice uh, that we have to do. They they not only have to make a choice like a normal war. They have they have the Zelushny has to think about this shit. Yeah, uh, and it's bullshit. Yeah. It, it's we, human nature. It's maybe bullshit. We we can uh, give a great victory uh, at uh, the May of twenty twenty three. But problem we haven't uh, armor, we haven't uh, tanks, we haven't now I we haven't uh, aircraft, and this is a problem. If we have this at the May, uh, I think uh, not, not a May. If this have one year ago, mm -hmm. we can uh, uh, crush it uh, more more Russian soldier. We can. Now we we sit uh, not Kherson, we sit at the cream. If we have uh, all armor, what we have now, uh, if this have one year ago, but now I I know the is uh, it's uh, Im impossible uh, uh, smart man. He's so smart, and I think uh, uh, he know what uh, he doing. 
and I think we have a great victory uh, uh, soon. I believe this. I believe this. I I I have evidence. I know th after the war. Yeah, no, I I know I know things. You know things that it's yeah. like we can do good things, but it's like we also have to impress American voters. Uh, and sometimes it's like we have to do stupid. I don't know. It's like we are getting success, but but let's not waste people to 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 impress to get more. We have to. It's like you have to get. Oh, if you get if you get five more kilometers, then you can have this. Then you can have this gun. Yes, yes. Because and... uh, <clears throat> in Robotina we can't now uh, go uh, ahead. Now we can't because uh, uh, Russian soldiers have have uh, uh, so good, so great uh, blindage. Mm. So good. Uh, we can go in this place. We can go at uh, like a criminal, like Horlivka. We can go. We can visit. In Horlivka, Russian soldiers haven't anything. We can go, and now I see in news, we go in Horlivka. We fight. Uh, I think uh, many, now, uh, how I see, many uh, journalists and news say about uh, we have uh, bad news, we have a, a, a pattern situation, but I don't, don't uh, think about... Uh, it's true. I think we have uh, like uh, two jokers in uh, arm. I will go meet uh, this man in Kiev and talk about FPVs. And uh, with the money I have left right now, I, I spent a lot of money last month and I'm still waiting mm -hmm. for the drone guns. This takes time. And I know I will get more money. Once I show what I spent the money on, I will get more. But I really want to invest in FPV. Yeah, uh, maybe it's it's future. Would you say, as a doctor, your medical opinion that FPV is uh, it's a good uh, health choice for Ukraine? Yes, yes. Because if we have more diet uh, Russian soldier, we have uh, a little uh, a little triste and haven't waste and haven't diet. It's like everything I know, and I've spent some time on drone positions. Um, when you have FPV, you can make more choices yourself because yeah. you, as the team, the equipage, the command, the, you can, because you made the bomb yourself. Yeah. You don't need to ask for commander for mortar, for artillery. Uh, you see a BMP. If you have the FPVs, you can make the yes. choice. No, uh, this is like how our armies work, how the sergeant yes. can, uh, you, you ring the current. No, what the colonel would say, what do you, what do I know? I'm not there. You call the mission. Yeah. Uh, FPV pilots I'm, can do this. I am medic, but now I go alone into FPV, and uh, I must uh, give in my car to FPV because uh, uh, I am. If I go uh, to the beach, I can uh, use it FPV and uh, shoot in uh, or or any technics or, or uh, soldier. Why no? If you if we have more FPV, we have more diet Russian soldier. It's just, it's perfect. It's. I think uh, all, all uh, like a medicine or like uh, a tactic, all soldier must know this. All soldier, uh, uh, don't, uh, don't worry. You medic, you are, uh, you are uh, soldier, you are commander. You must use it and know how work FPV. It's uh, it's a future of uh, all uh, army in all army FPV. It's a future. It's like <coughs> a, a, a rifle gun. Every every driver, every yes. doctor, everyone in Ukraine everyone has must, fired a rifle yes. and knows how to yes. fire it. And uh, everyone must know how work in FPV. Everyone. I'm gonna do this, and also because I know, uh, like. I talk very honestly with the people who are watching this video at this point, because I know the analytic, it drops like this, but um, I'm going to invest more in FPVs because also it's more impressive to people who donate. Like, uh, for example, uh, night vision 
I gave you and Serge, yeah. I gave two night vision to you. I give one to Liliola uh, to 36. I give to Avdivka, but it's small. It What it does is amazing. But for the price of one night vision, I can buy eight FPV, yeah, nine FPV. And, and I can, it like your generator. Yeah. Last year, I got 100 diesel generators, but the biggest I got at once was like 25. When I take a video of 25 diesel generators, everyone's like, it's like these organizations, good ones, but they only want to do cars. Uh, and we need cars, but it's not what we need most. We need, yeah. but when they come to Ukraine with 20 cars at once, all painted green, you know, Razom, no, it, it, no. It, they're good, but they're also doing this because of marketing, because people, the public look at that and they're like, that's impressive. Yes. So FPV, if I can buy 10 FPVs at once, here's your money. Uh, that's impressive. But also FPV is what we need more yes. than anything, more than tourniquet, more than fucking sea locks or quick clot. We need FPV. Yeah. Uh, remember what General Patton said no son of a bitch won a war by dying for his country he made the other son of a bitch die for yeah. his country um, sorry for my rant but it's this is I un I kind of understand what people on the outside who help us what they think and when they see big things it's like but like sometimes a small thing mm -hmm. is like medical aid you, how many packages do you get? Uh, do you remember early in the war, we would get big boxes like this of mm -hmm. gauze, 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 gauze. Yeah, we have a lot of gauze. And it lot. looks impressive, but even even the public, they're smart now. They know, but they don't need that. Yeah. They need this. They need hemostatic gauze. They need uh, atropine. They need nalbofene. Like, what is in that box? Yes. If you send ibuprofen, oh, look at all this ibuprofen we donate to Ukraine. Uh, but uh, we have... Uh, so much uh, ibuprofen. We can we can give uh, every soldier in my brigade uh, maybe two hundred tablets ibuprofen. He's like, no, we need we need nalbafine, we need fentanyl, we need small yes. box of this. Yes, we need to specific it um, uh, medicine. What do you think about uh, so the butterfly um, that I I got? Uh, you had one butterfly from yeah. Pratula, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it wasn't working. Uh, I don't know, don't know why it don't work. No, but I think it's fixed. It uh, maybe one week. Okay, we fixed this problem. And one you give me, because I can't give up. Like mentally, I cannot give up on. I said oh, I don't, I don't, I don't buy for medical anymore. But it's like I'm a medic in hospitality. I work with the people I work around. Like you, I can't not buy. Uh, do you think I'm thinking of doing a fundraiser for more butterflies? Do you uh, think that's good? Butterfly in Stapunt, it's uh, uh, so cool and so beautiful and uh, important because we can uh, see, uh, have, uh, Trista have uh, uh, neo pneumothorax or hemothorax. Uh, have uh, airways blood uh, issues hemoperitoneum hemo, hemo uh, yeah, if if we can see this mm -hmm. and uh, we can uh, give him uh, uh, a good care because we know what's the problem this have if we this have a hemoperitoneum we can uh, use it uh, uh, medicine, what he need, we can uh, give him a blood, we can mm -hmm. give him a plasma, dry plasma. We can uh, care for a patient. Uh, so, uh, so uh, be a better. Well, I think about it uh, like this, like just for example, say if I'm on a stab point in Chasaviar and I have the butterfly, I can decide then no, this Trista, he must go to Kramatorsk, he must go to Druzhkivka, he yes. must go to Pokrovsk, wherever uh, because, we have the ability. Yeah, uh, because in Donbass, um, we have um, uh, different more, hospitals more, more, who can more, do more, different more, things. Yeah, more, more difficult evacuation and uh, we must uh, uh, different, uh, uh, no different. Um, hmm. We must see, there. I must, uh, uh, this Trista must go 
uh, th this hospital this must give uh, get uh, go this hospital in Houston uh, it's it's not a problem but we can uh, give uh, cool care mm. well one of the reasons i want because i it's like the first within one hour of having the the butterfly because the other one didn't work subcapsular hematoma on the spleen blood yeah, on the spleen yes, yes. and it, that's our first three day that yeah, we had yes. with like also you have this video uh i'm i i blurred his face but uh oh, i'm going mm -hmm, to show mm -hmm, that on mm -hmm, youtube mm -hmm. uh with roma uh, uh -huh. i want the world to see roma smile i want them <laughs> to see vitali smile um but i'm i'm conscious i'm, I'm editing those videos uh but i want people to see that when Taras is working with the mm -hmm. butterfly, how we identify that. And that was one hour, uh, maybe one and a half hours after we have it and plugged mm -hmm. it in. Um, but also, um, you should not even have to think about this, but I think about this. Um, if I do butterfly again, maybe that will get money. There's certain people, my donations went up when I started buying things to kill Peter, thermal scopes, mm -hmm. things. But also i'm thinking maybe i will get back some of that support medical support too because there's people who don't they don't want to do that they're like yeah, yeah. oh more no people, no no life I for know, everyone i know more people who like uh, they want to live in fantasy world yes 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 i don't want to insult them but uh, i have good medical connections in america sweden uh germany some of them they're still my friends but that's uh, some of that support has died for me uh because of what i do now mm -hmm. um but butterfly is so good we can get it good prices so i'm thinking i want f yeah fpvs and butterflies <laughs> <laughs> i'm i'm gonna hedge my it's like a i'm like a stockbroker you don't put it all on don't throw all your money on bitcoin we, have, no, we need it more um more, more, more different uh, uh medical equipment mm -hmm. what he, now we haven't this but if we have this is more better more options yes yes we have more give more information and uh, more more better care maybe even more uh, oxygen concentrators uh, no now no, we have good now? now we have uh, free concentration and now we don't have have this i told you maybe later what we want uh, for medical equipment uh, it's so more better mm -hmm. for uh, I can work on this. It just takes time. Yeah. Time that we don't. I know. I we know. don't have, but we do it anyway. Yes. Now, um, work is uh, uh, volunteers. Mm -hmm. Now it's, it's so bad because um, Ukrainian people now have uh, a little money. Um, war. Uh, Everyone who wanted to help. Yeah, more people want to help, but uh, more uh, people can't help now. Igor, uh, that I work with, he he had a lot of money. He was working in America before this. No. And I didn't know. He, now he's broke. He gave it all. He gave he gave all his money away. Yeah. Many people like this. Yeah, yeah. I I I I uh, give all people all all my money in army. My wife says me, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and now you have a new child as yeah, well. Yeah, have, have Ella, little Ella. <laughs> uh, does your wife know about Ella? No? Yeah, no, no. Okay. At first she did not. Now, she now. say, uh, my wife have, have uh, uh, like Bella Kudryashkis. Uh, hair like Bella. Oh, your wife's hair is... Yes, ah, yes, so when you yes. when you touch Ella's hair... Yes, you... and uh, my wife say, wow, you, you, you take uh, Bella because uh, uh, she has uh, hair like me. Yes, yes, <laughs> I honey. say, yes, yes honey. of course. <laughs> um, what, what has been... Because we don't have a lot of time left. What has been your experience uh, with volunteers? Uh, Ukrainian foreigner, like how they bring support. Uh, Volunteers, uh, how the, uh, this uh, I work, uh, it's all good. But I know uh, uh, um, uh, people who works uh, this uh, uh, 
a bad volunteers who most steal money for in 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 his wallet. I know this volunteer. We have this. It's a problem, but we can't do this, this him anything. Like in Ukraine, you see you see a lot of. Uh, I there was one guy. He took a picture of me uh, and a guy from seventy two brigade. Mm-hmm. We were driving him to Pokrovsk, he had an uh, ulcer, so he was going home and he rescued a dog. And this guy took the picture of the dog and put it online and said that we rescued the dog. <laughs> and then we found out that he was taking many pictures of dogs and cats and he was wrapping bandage. Mm-hmm. Uh, look at what we're doing to save animals. And he was collecting money and he, he bought houses in Kiev. Um, but Esbu fucked this guy. Like he really like he's uh he went to prison. Oh. I know it's not happening with everyone, um but like for example, if there's certain things you need, uh sometimes maybe it's easier to go to volunteers than to go through the system. Oh you have light. I have lighter, I have everything. <laughs> I'm Rishallah. It's like I uh you know, I will go home. I'm going. I'm going to. I'm hoping that my supporters will support. I. I. I have uh, three courses I want to study. Uh, officially become an EMT, advanced, and uh, when I come back, I. I want to. I want to sign a contract, but I'm. I'm like. I don't know. I don't. This is the work that makes me happy. You must think about sign a contract. You must think so, so, so better, because you haven't. Uh, if you sign a contract, you haven't free like now. I know. See, I can go do things for you guys and other ones. Like I can, if we need something, if something is broken, I can leave to the next day, and I, I can go to Nikolaev and I get know. it. Even you can't do this. If you sign contract, you can't. But it bothered me with, uh, for example, one of the Rosvitka teams. They said, do you want to be the medic uh, with this rota on the left bank? And I said, yes. And uh, in hospital in Kiev, they wouldn't allow this. So maybe I just don't ask and I go. But the problem is, if I don't have permission from Kiev to go do this work and I lose my leg, they don't pay for it. Yes. Because they pay for everything if we have permission to go. So, you but you must. I like working with Triste. I like helping Triste. Where do I? I don't know where to go from. I think we're gonna be. I think it's gonna be another maybe two years. We're doing this. I have many things about this, but I say you told you after we do. Well, I just I'm I'm I. It's the biggest compliment I can give, but. The way that your team works, it's it's as good as as Pesha Tankova, as Nikolai Nikolaevich. Oh yeah. And that guy is amazing. Yes. And Igor yes. Petrovich, he's like he is a dedushka. He doesn't have to be in this war. Uh, he is brigade medical commander, but he lives on Stabpunt because he's like I am a surgeon of thirty years. This is where I, he does his paperwork. Yeah. And I want I want him to be proud of me. I Actually. want you to be proud of me, uh, but the way you guys are working, uh, this is what I want to. I want to always be part of this. So, what to do? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what to do anymore. You can work uh, as is my commander. Because I'm gonna. I have to go home, but I will come back, uh, and I want to go all the way to Krim. Yeah, we, I, we will I go mu- to Krim. I must uh, write in Krim uh, uh, on the ten. <laughs> oh, it's my uh, dream. I told uh, <coughs> I told uh, my friend. Uh, I did not know how good of English he spoke. Uh, he's in Avdivka, and every week he's writing me, asking me how I am. Are you okay, Brandon? And I said, someday we will be dedushkas, and we will be in in the beach in Crimea. Yeah. And uh, but we'll be cool, the Dushkas. Yeah, you know, we'll be listening <laughs> to like 
dub will be dadushkas who listen to dubstep or some shit. <laughs> And I want this with you. I want this with Sergei, with uh, with Vitaly. I think maybe I maybe I will learn enough Ukrainian uh, <laughs> that I will understand Vitaly, and then I will wish that I don't understand Ukrainian. <laughs> but yeah, I just I just want to say thanks and thanks for taking this time with me. Um, I want people to hear. I want people to know that you exist. That people exist. That are. I uh, I have 5000 people that will watch this to the end and they care. They care and if they don't if they don't have money they share it on Reddit, they share it on other and they find someone and and some of these people they write to their government like like once a month they write a letter to a congressman. Oh. If congressman wants to get voted back in, he needs to yeah, that's the kind of people that are watching this, you know, like I don't have a big following but i i know there's 5000 people that will watch this that uh, if i ask them to write a letter to their politician like kindly uh, probably at least half of them would would actually do that it, that's it's it's not nothing yeah we, we we must speak this this people because we we need help really we need help all time it's uh, all the all the news, Western news, all my friends on YouTube, I'm friends with all the YouTubers uh, who support Ukraine, but they talk all the time about how Peters are stupid, Peters are... It's like, if it was that fucking easy, we would already win. I don't think it's easy. It's so difficult. It's so difficult. Uh, Russian soldiers uh, want uh, want life, and uh, he uh, they uh, learning. They uh, d don't uh, don't uh, don't want to be killed. He want he want to live, and he uh, they uh, teachers teachers learning about uh, Ukrainian soldiers, and uh, they don't stop it. They have a good commander. They have uh, uh, they have a lot uh, artillery. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. But and I know this: when their artillery and mortar doesn't work, most of the times our guys win in Stormova. We, we win. Storm we win in assault. Yeah, in uh, assault, uh, Ukrainian uh, soldiers more better, more more. So FPV kills yes. MLRS, kills artillery, kills yes. mortar, yeah, yeah. and that's where we. Anyway, let's uh, <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, <laughs> we must get. Thank, thank you so you. much for this, brother. Thank you, and uh, thank you very much to Ella. <laughs> she doesn't like when I kiss her, though. She <laughs> likes she likes when I. The beautiful little cocker spaniel. <laughs> let's go.